NBC Radio St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and uh, we have as part of our program this morning uh, the seismologist monitoring the volcano at Lasso Frere, uh, Roderick Stewart online. Hello and good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm actually at Nemo at the moment, so um, I haven't got video for once, but I'm doing a few things in town. But yeah, I'm good. All right. Well, uh, Prime Minister Gonzales will also be joining us via the telephone this morning. So both of our usual guests are not at their usual location. So that's all right. Uh, we To begin, we always like to, to look back at the day before and uh, then walk right into today. So if we can just start from that point. OK, well, the last 24 hours has been quiet, as have several 24-hour periods. There's, there's really nothing to report. There's just a few volcanic aspects and no other activity and no lahars either. So it's been a relatively quiet 24 hours. All right. And uh, what, uh, in terms of uh, the monitoring process by, the, by you and your team today, what uh, can we expect? Any special plans for observation today or monitoring? <laughs> No, no special plans. We just continue to monitor. We um, we have some colleagues here from the UK who will be doing some field work, and we'll be supporting them. We'll support. I, I'm not sure what the UN team are doing, but we support them if, if necessary. But really, we're we're getting ready for a, a handover. I'm due to leave on Friday, and uh, we've got other people coming in, taking over as the, the scientific team leads. So. Preparations for the handover is really what we're doing at the moment. And just to reiterate that the alert remains at red and the advisory is still for persons not to head into the red zone? Yes, that is definitely the case. People should not be in the red zone. And, you know, we see videos or photographs online of people hiking and it's it, it's terrible. It, it scares me because the deposits are still hot at depth. And there could be terrible accidents if people are in there. And, you know, then, then you're endangering the life. Hang on. Yeah. Okay, I just, I just yeah, missed what you said there briefly. I didn't quite get that. So if you can just repeat. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, I'm in a room with other people. So there's people talking. Um, but yes, it, if people go to these places, they're not only endangering their own lives, they're endangering the lives of the rescue personnel who will have to come and rescue them if there's been an accident. So really strongly tell people they should not be going exploring because it is not safe at the moment. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm just trying at this time to bring in Prime Minister Gonzales, so uh, just uh, stay with us for a minute. Uh, Prime Minister Gonzales, good morning. Okay, we're going to try that. Uh, we'll try that connection once more. Uh, we're just uh, going to make uh, some more connections there. Uh, so uh, as we continue to... All right, we're going to bring good. in... seems to be a bit of an issue on the connection with the line, so we're going to try this again. Hello? You see from Studios of Richmond Hill in Kingstown, and uh, Professor Stewart, well, Mr. Stewart, Dr. Stewart is online, and we're just uh, trying to sure? have a... Uh, hello, good morning. Too much Prime morning. Yeah, I'm there now. Yes, Prime Minister, good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Rod. Hi, uh, good morning, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm calling from home this morning. Good morning, listeners. Good morning, NBC Radio. The, what, what happened, I got up and there's some things which I had to do quite urgently. Um, so I had to do it this way. Um, uh, and I, I feel better being in the studio, but there it is. Now, <clears throat> the, we will know later today because there's some early there's some early warnings predictability prediction not yet not yet um, 
firmed up that we may we may have some rains as we get to the weekend and over the weekend i hope i hope we don't have it excessively um you know predictions these predictions that this far out uh the they're not as accurate as as you get closer to the event. I'm talking from a meet, from a meteorological standpoint. But if we if we if we get if we get rains, it it means also that we have to be extremely careful, <clears throat> as we saw with the Lahas. Are you there with me, Professor? Uh, no. <coughs> Uh, Stuart? Um, yes, can you hear me? Are you hearing Prime Minister Gonzales? Did you did you hear me? Did you hear me, Roderick? Yes, I can I can hear you, sir. But did yes, you hear, hear what you. I said just now? You were talking about the um the prediction for Yeah, yeah, just I will they're they're the very weekend. early indications, they're not yet predictions. But but when you get them you have to in a situation like this. You have to even begin early to say, listen, at least people to listen carefully as we going forward yeah. every single day to the, to the weather reports. Uh, yeah, that's because true. being armed with the information about rains from this, because we have been having early rains before, before the June hurricane season. Yeah. That that we we need to we need to listen very carefully, all our citizens, all our residents, to what's happening with the rainfall all over the country. Really, we have to listen because we saw what happened in Kingston, Rockies, and Sharps, and so forth. Not just in the not just in the red zone and the orange zone, but other places across St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Because those who don't get lahars will get ordinary floods and um, and landslides. So I was I was just I was just um, alerting persons as you were speaking about 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 La Sofre, about the volcano. I was just adding that we have to bear that in mind, the the, the weather system, and I'm sure you will reinforce that. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. The I, I I want just to report while I have you on that the yesterday at our special meeting of cabinet when we just before we we considered the the supplementary estimates and supplementary appropriation bill at least the draft that we had the the seismic research center Rod was on and so too was Professor Robertson with us and and Dr Joseph in a in a in a Zoom meeting it was a very good discussion. Because we are going to yesterday, Rod. I also did what is obligatory. I, I discussed the matter about the recommendation to go to the orange zone, to go to orange alert. Sorry, I discussed it yesterday afternoon. Yes, uh, with the National yeah. Emergency Council, and cabinet has to make a decision today. Um, because the advice is to to go on on orange to orange alert, that indicating that people can go back to the to the to the orange area, save and accept some particular areas, obviously like Chateaubelle and Fitzhugh's where they still have a lot of ash, and we don't want people to go back where we have a lot of ash still, given to give the government some time to clear up and to deal with some other practical socioeconomic issues on the ground and physical questions. I think that's your broad that's your broad advisory too. Um, yeah, I mean we had a really good discussion yesterday and it's now been is it ten days since the last explosion and there's been no signs of, of other explosions coming. So our recommendation was that you could go back to the orange alert. But it was with the proviso that, you know, explosions could still occur within a 24-hour period without warning, and therefore people have to stay out of the red zone because that's, that's a real danger zone. Yes. So go back to the orange orange level and the orange zone can be reoccupied. Yes. And unless you've got other, you know, 
as you say, so, social considerations about yeah. um, clearing up. But volcanologically, we're happy to go down a level. So you 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 go back on you go back on Friday. Yes, and I go back to Montreal on Friday. And 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 then um and and then you then who comes up? Okay, well, there's, there's a bit of confusion because it was meant to be um, Lloyd Lynch from Trinidad, but he's delayed. So Adam Stinson is coming down from Montserrat on Friday, and then Lloyd will be here sometime next week to take who, over. As I didn't hear who you say was coming down from Montserrat. I didn't get the name. Um, Adam Stinson. He was. He came down with Dr. Christopher on the first trip that we had. So he's been here before. Okay. And, and Dr. Christopher is, is, is okay. For, is, is re- yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's doing fine. You'll be hearing from him. Um, okay. And then, as I said, and then and, um, Mr. Lynch will be here next week. I'm not sure exactly what day. And he will take over as the team lead. All right. And and then and then Professor Robertson comes back some other time in your normal rotation. Yeah, we, yeah we, we've got to modify the rotation a bit because... Um, Myself, Dr. Christopher, Professor Robertson all stayed much longer than we were scheduled to stay for. Yes. So we, we have to see how we fit back in. But uh, she will be back, and I will be back as well. Well, we, 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 really, we really appreciate everybody, everyone's work, and you specifically, and I want to thank you publicly for the tremendous work you've been doing, um, Roddy. And it, you, you've been very, very instrumental to us holding this thing together. And these daily advisories, right. people look forward to them. Yeah, thank, thank you very much for that. I mean, for me, it's been an, an honour to work here. And the, the reception I've had from people of St. Vincent at all levels has, has been absolutely amazing. And, and it makes my job a lot easier when people appreciate what we do. So um, I'm very glad to have been here, and I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back. Thanks. Thanks very much, Rod. Okay. See you again. All right. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Mr. Stewart. I will continue with Prime Minister Gonzalez. Yes. Well, uh, what I just want to do is to report a little fuller on a couple of things. First of all, to to indicate yesterday we had all the permanent secretaries attending cabinet with us so that we, we 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 could get the any particular detail we wanted to right on hand in relation to the finalization of the draft estimates supplementary estimates and we had we had a we had a a good detailed discussion on that and today well, well, last evening I got the, the the corrected version. I went through that, um, and and we will do the final approvals at cabinet today for immediate circulation to the parliament, so that the honourable members in the the opposition and and persons who are not in the cabinet would 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 get copies, hopefully by later today or tomorrow morning depending on how how fast everything moves well i'm i'm hoping that that is the case because on monday we have the select committee we have this sorry the standing committee on finance which is a committee of the whole house to discuss them before we go to parliament itself on tuesday um the yesterday also in fact, as soon after we finished the cabinet meeting, we had to hurry up uh, to the NIS building where we had the National Emergency Council meeting of NEMO. It was a very good meeting, too. We had about two hours of discussion where we received the relevant reports and, and addressed the questions on an ongoing basis, the, the, the challenges which we have on an ongoing basis, and and to point towards um, further improving and our, our our system of delivery of services 
um, in this in this difficult period. We we are having we're going to have several months of um, of support of a of a humanitarian kind. Of course, we we want to see how we can move back to the orange zone very swiftly for us. Then do uh, make sure that everything is in order in the in the red zone, the cleanup of the ash, the return to electricity in those areas where there have been challenges. We got Saunders reported that from CWS that the water the water had been returned to Fitzhugh's the day before. So Chateaubillay and Fitzhugh's they have water. Um and and then they were doing the restoration up to just trying to do that up to to the, the orange hill really but but that's in the red zone because they have to sort that out at perseverance which is the catchment which deals with 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 that particular area the UNEP, the agency from the United Nations dealing with the, the clearing up of the ash, they have submitted their initial assessment, preliminary report as to the sort of things which we we need to do and how we need to partner together, obviously, on on, on cleaning up the, the, the ash. You know, there's a there's an estimate which was done in the Sidema report that in, in cleaning up the ash for this year, you're going to require monies, I mean, in terms of equipment and, and all what you have to do, the sum of about $28 million and, and a further $10 million um, for subsequent um, cleanup of the same ash because you're not going to do everything fully in this particular period. It's a, it's a massive effort. Which is which is um, which is required, and we, this, this is to clear the roads, the the drains, the river mouths, all 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 the areas where you have the ash, um, the, the 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 state built the government buildings in all the various areas. The, the, so it's a it's a that's going to be a huge huge effort. And then <clears throat> we have to do the the more detailed assessment for the for the damage and loss, so that we can then set ourselves on a program for recovery. Clearly, even at this stage, we have to do the we. We we have to do in in this humanitarian period. We have to have resources put aside for some recovery. Like for instance, when when farmers go back to on their farms, we have to provide assistance with the agricultural production. But while they while while we assist them with agricultural production, we also have to assist them with some income support. Sorry, on a monthly basis for several months while they are getting their production back up. Well, you know, because the bananas have to take some time to to come to fruition, the, the sweet potatoes, whatever crops. So it's it's. So that recovery part, the fishers, you know, some of them need some uh, some equipment and 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 so on and so forth. So it's a even at this stage, we have to begin to look at how we can get back um, the productive sector going. We we received a report from. Oh, let me just continue on 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 the supplementary estimates i just want persons to realize that 
what is what going to come in the supplementary estimates do not they do not take account of what other agencies would be doing like for instance the united nations agencies um the 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 agency dealing with with health and and, and uh, paho who um then uh, the UNEP, UNEP, the Environmental um, Program Agency, where they were interfacing with us with the matter of the ash, the World Food Program in terms of um, social safety net supports like um, vouchers and cash grants. And they, they will do some of that stuff while we would also do... Um, some of ourselves, so that there is, there has to be coordination of all those those efforts. We, the government itself, is not spending uh, money given to the UN agencies or allocated by the UN for them. Um, for example, I, I give that by way of example, or indeed, monies which have come from development agencies and given to the Red Cross. The Red Cross delivering um, packages. They, 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 yesterday, the Red Cross reported that thus far they had delivered 550 packages, food packages to two weeks packages for, for homes in, 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 in the For the evacuees, they, 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 they naturally would want to go, they want to ramp up much further, a number, 1,250, 1,500 packages. We ourselves, through the government, we have already um, delivered over 6,000 packages to homes where there are evacuees, and we have delivered packages to, to some communities in the orange zone where they have been having some challenges of, of coping given the extent of the ash and so forth, even though they, they did not move. Um, and, and the World Central Kitchen they are now up to about 7,000 meals per day, and they do most of it out in the the communities where they are, in the, the families in, in, who have evacuated in homes, and also some of it in the orange zone at about 100 different locations. And all those things have to be coordinated, plus, of course, the other other agencies who would chip in, like the Seventh Day Adventists and and so on and so forth, and and the government itself clearly does the bulk of the, of, of everything, including the shelters and the deliveries to the the deliveries to to the homes of the, the evacuees who are in private homes and some in the orange zone, as well as providing lunches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 7,000 persons who access those things in the shelters, access those meals in the shelters. So it's it's a massive operation, and, and the, at the same time, the, the, the delivery of things like mattresses continue unabated. I just want to make that point, and 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 still, the popular mattresses clearly are the double ones, and and not and not the single ones. So that is um, and and persons when they when they provide when they when they're waiting, I just want to advise persons when they're waiting for for mattresses and and stuff of that kind. Try and see if they can have their phones with them and answer the phone because it's quite an operation. I mean, it's it's sometimes people have to call 
two, three, four times. I'm talking about Nemo. Sometimes a person before they answer. And um, some people some people change their, their 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 telephone numbers or give or use a different telephone or, or they might have two telephones and they give one number. Uh, they they just have to uh, help also Nemo in 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 getting in getting everybody. I don't think that uh, um, some people understand. The, the actual practical challenges in in some of these things and 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 the Nemo people are doing a pretty good job and they're improving all the time and and so to the volunteers I think those are the central things I want to report there on and then um I had a discussion this morning with the chief medical officer because she gave a report yesterday of of being concerned about the 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 shelter uh, shelters where you have people don't want to do the testing and um and and difficulties created and uh, as in the case where they had to lock down two shelters there some people have been wholly unreasonable you don't want to take the test but you don't want to follow the protocols within the shelter and when they lock it down, you want to create a sec- some one or two people, not 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 the bulk of persons, overwhelmingly people. When you when you lock it down, respect it. But there are some people who want to create security difficulties by by saying you can't stop them doing this, that, and the other. And, and I mean, I don't know why our security forces already have to deal with other things. If 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 there's a problem which is created in the shelter, just um, cooperate with the health authorities. There's, there's no there's no reason why you are trying to make a bad to put it in local parlance. Everybody needs to be reasonable and cooperative with this thing. And always, we need we need more more volunteers because some of the volunteers are also subject to burnout, like everybody else. And 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 um, we need. People also have husbands and wives and partners and children and the like, and you know it is it it is not reasonable to expect somebody to volunteer twelve fourteen hours per day seven days a week you know it it is a it is a it is a real challenge and um it's a it's a massive operation I can tell you. With, with hundreds upon hundreds of volunteers and, and, and reassigned public sector workers. And public sector workers working hours, overwhelmingly working hours, way beyond they would normally work if they were at their regular jobs. And, and, and I appeal to everybody to get everybody over 18 to get tested for COVID, and I appeal to everybody over 18 to take the vaccine. Otherwise, we are not going to get back to normal, and we are in danger of having a particular we have having a spread in in the in the in the country, and and that would be very very dangerous for for public health, for the society, for the economy. Um, and bring additional hardship and pain and suffering. I I think by now everybody knows what these, these facts are, and we, we can't treat them lightly. Um, I think those are the those are the central issues. I got a report from the commissioner of police in relation to security. Um, spoke to him last night. Spoke to him this morning. And um, things things are normal. There was there there was there was just a case where we we got someone with a with an unlicensed firearm. Some somebody who had one of the evacuees. Um, so that 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 was the only thing which was reported of any real consequence or the little other little things. But that's. 
that's 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 only one of that and and by and large we 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 are having everybody in a mode of social solidarity but you 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 have a few persons here and there who who have a who want to make it difficult for everybody and because the place is small because the, the country is small even a few persons creating dissonance can can have um can have a deleterious effect and I'm urging all persons to be responsible in their commentaries and, and, and be balanced and don't get hysterical, be calm. And let us be focused on this uh, this m- many-sided challenge of monumental proposals. I think those are the, the central issues which um, I, I have to, we, we have been addressing. And, and at the same time, I continue, and the government continues, the public servants, we continue to do all our work with the outreach, with the regional international community, and do all the other things that we have to be doing on an ongoing basis in in the government. But obviously, the challenge created by both COVID and the volcano, and the, with the looming hurricane season, and the, the rainy, the weather's coming, the rain coming on earlier. That these are things and and the consequences that get there, get in our focus. I I don't know if any questions are coming in, and I'm prepared to answer. Uh, Prime Minister, uh, the uh, you raised this I think was uh, sometime this week. Someone is asking uh, the support that you mentioned to households, if and when that will be implemented. Oh, the support would be after the. When we pass the estimates, I mean additional support to households yes, because yes. we are already given support to households. All 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 the usual supports continue, including public assistance and the like, and the food and so on and so forth. Um, all all those things continue in the normal way. The when we when we pass the estimates on the eleventh. And I'm, I'm hopeful that we get through on the 11th. We don't tarry unnecessarily on it. Um, I intend to go into midnight or beyond because I want it in a day or so after for it to be put in proper form to go to the Governor General, the, the appropriation bill for assent, and then to be published. Um, the, the appropriation bill would then be published in the Gazette. So, and then we will, we will, the the the, the public servants will take a couple of weeks, maybe two weeks, in order to get all the administrative machinery in place. Like, for instance, the numbers of farmers in the red zone, because the idea is to give farmers in the red zone. Um, certain monthly supports um, once they move back. So those in the red zone are not going to get until they, 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 we give the all clear to leave the shelter. We can't, you can't be in the shelter and, and be getting um, the, the, the income support. But when you, when you go out of the shelter, that income support will begin for persons in the red zone. So, and then not just the farmers, but the non-farmers would also get um, support. That's the intention. And for farmers in the orange zone, we 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 will have some, you know, the, the one-off payments and so forth, as we have done in the past. Um, but we'll help everybody with production supports. So those in the orange zone who require production supports um, will 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 begin to get that earlier than say those in the red zone because those in the orange zone are going to go home earlier. Uh, and um, we want after for the for the households, we we want to, to see if we can 
substitute the the matter of delivering food to you with giving you a a voucher which would be tenable at at a range supermarket so that you can purchase what you want to purchase. Of course, the voucher, you wouldn't be able to purchase things like rum and, and cigarette. So there are different modes of assistance that we are going to have. And the, 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 the World Food Program is also going to have also some supports, as, as I mentioned before. So that's the persons who are asking, who are going to the Ministry of Agriculture and say that they heard that Ralph said that they will get compensation for their crops which they lost. I didn't say that. I said you're going to get income support and you'll get agricultural production support. You, the, the, you, the, 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 the volcano destroy your crops. We are supporting you either in your the shelter in your or in your homes, and we are going to assist you with getting your production back up. But there's not a question of compensation for the crops which have already been 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 damaged. We but we'll provide we will provide the support to get yourself back on their feet. That's the idea. Okay. There's another question, Prime Minister. They, there are some folks in the green zones and in other communities who generally would depend on produce from farmers in the red zone, things like, like chive and the other peppers to do seasoning and so forth. Yes. Um, uh, someone is raising the issue that they, they have uh, they employ two, two additional persons to help in that, but they're not able to get these supplies to continue that part of, of, of their small business. Um, in in what 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 is there um, in that for them? I think you mean in the in the in the red zone and in the so 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 the person who makes uh, let let's say seasoning and all those these things. are people outside of yes, the red zone in the green zone, Prime Minister. The in the ladies, green zone, yes, this, the one that's specific to the well, green. I I don't know that that had been considered, but I can ask the people in the Ministry of, of um, Agriculture and, uh, and Industry to, to get an idea as to what is the, the universe of those numbers. Um, but, but, but you know we had been providing support for persons with the COVID, who had had not with the COVID as a consequence of the COVID. You remember we, we continue to give income support to workers and the like. And um, I don't know how many of those, how many of these in, in these categories, but I can, I can inquire about that. But I'm, I'm glad that is brought to my attention. Yes. Uh, there, there is another question about the cleaning of, of roads as we return to, to communities. Uh, would, they, would Braxa be assisting in the cleaning of secondary roads? And uh, I'm not too sure if you have an idea at this time. How far are they in terms of the cleanup on the I, I, leeward side? Um, they are, they, they are, I, I'm not sure how far they have reached at the moment on the leeward side. I'll get a report um, today on that. But they, but they are moving. They, they, they're doing, they're doing work every single day. So I'm 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 sure they would have gone past. They've gone into the North Leeward area. They've certainly gone into the North Leeward area, and 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 we will be cleaning um, the secondary roads too. I mean, you 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 have a place like Georgetown, which has a lot of secondary roads, and a lot of these 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 roads on 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 both sides of the main street. You have to clean those too. So everywhere the same thing. In 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 that, well, Barley is in the orange zone. No, in the sorry, Barley is in the yellow zone. Um, and uh, other other villages where you have side roads, you have to you have they have to be clean, not only the main road. Okay. 
It's a, it, that's why, and, and you have to clean by the rivers. The drains are a big one. <laughs> <Yeah>. You know, <clears throat> um, so that's, I know, I just want to say this, that CWSA has pointed out that um, when you go back, if you use, if you're using the water from CWSA to do the cleaning, they're, they're, they're advising against that and, and you're subject to being disconnected. So that we'll have, obviously, because that is so. We'll have to try and truck water, probably get the water out of rivers and things like that. You see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <An incident. laughs> so to help people, to help people to clean up. And incidentally, uh, just at the same time you spoke about CWS, it's a practical, it's a practical measure, you know. Yeah, a question came in about uh, rebates for persons in in those zones who had to clean up because they assume that they would be using no, 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 water. You, you, but you, the question no. has always been to conserve the water. Absolutely, yes. at, at this time, and um, and uh, but we'll we'll have to get the water. There are some areas people. This is, has to be a very, I mean, it's individual effort, but it also has to be coordinated. We have already, for instance, um, given, we have given duty-free concessions. We have shaped the fiscal policy to give duty-free concessions for things like um, the the water pumps and hoses and 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 the like, but not every and and, and pressure washers, but not not everybody. Is going to be able to buy a, a water pump, <laughs> but you may, we may have enough water pumps where persons where rivers are nearby now to pump the water mm -hmm. um, in in the communities. But we also will have to truck water to help people to help to provide for the cleanup because if if everybody goes to use the the, the pipe bone water to clean up, you know what's going to happen. You know, you're gonna run out of all the water. Yeah. So, and okay, go yes, on. go ahead. Yeah, someone is inquiring about how can they assist. Um, I work in Palm Island and I'm on mainland right now. How can I volunteer? Just, just, just go down. Just call in at Nemo, the communication center. The numbers are up. I don't know them off the top of my head. You may you may be able to 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 call them out. Um, yes, I will. The, um, yes, I um, will. You know, and, and call them. There's a there's a big communication center as, as we explained yesterday. Twenty something people are there. I mean, I went there myself and see it is a good operation. Um, so that that that's that's how we we are going to be able to increase the the, the help. I I just want to. But I'm very happy that people are calling in. Yes. Uh, so the contact numbers for NEMA are 456-2975, and the hotline is 526-3000, and we'll share those numbers as we go through. Go and, and they have they have more, they have, that, though that's the number, it has several lines. Yes, please, Prime Minister. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going back to the issue of uh, COVID-19 as there is an uptick in cases uh, at the shelters and the concerns there. Um, there, there is a question and there's an ongoing uh, discussion going on if in light of that, uh, if there's any consideration at all for it to become mandatory, that's the taking of the vaccines. No, I, 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 don't, I don't see that. First of all, <clears throat> you're going to need a larger police force, a larger nursing service, and people apply in coercion if you don't want to take the vaccine. Or indeed, for the test. But what... And, and the, the, the law has to be always used as a sword, a shield and not a sword, because it's practical. That's not a practical thing. But an employer in a hotel can say, because you, you and, and CAFA, I read out that advisory, that CAFA had, had advised that persons who are in, in frontline 
um, positions, including in the tourism, the hotel, tourism and hotel sector. That's the people at the airport, seaports, <coughs> immigration officers, customs officers, um, the, the the airport workers, the port workers, the the um, the the hotel workers, the people who serve you, the people who cook the food, the people who you interact with, the taxi men, the and so on and so forth. It, for the cruise ship, the tour guides, additionally, and so forth. That the employer, whether state or private, legally can insist that you take the vaccine. And if you don't take the vaccine, they simply ask you if the employer is so minded not to come to work. And of course, if you don't work, you wouldn't get paid. Remember that issue, which which came to the fore when 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 um we were we were urging the teachers so to do and, and the advisory which we had given that if you don't vaccinate to come and teach people's children, um well well don't come to work. Um, but that 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 issue, as far as the teachers were concerned, which would resurface again, was shelved. Be- when when the volcano erupted on the ninth, because people had to go back to work on the twelfth. Remember that? Yes. Please. The school. But so that in particular categories of employment, people can in people can the employer can ask that listen, you take the vaccine. And if you don't take it, don't come to work. The and, and obviously, if you don't work, um, people who don't work don't get paid. Uh, so those that that is as far as as I think um, you may be able to 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 sensibly to go. I don't think a fellow who is a farmer is is doing his own farm. You 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 you. You're gonna say, well, he must. You gonna hold him down to to give him the vaccine? No, I don't see that happening. You're not holding on anybody to give the vaccine. Mm-hmm. But there are certain employer employment units can say, listen, the employers can say, look, you don't take the vaccine, you can't work with us. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a, it's as it's as simple as straightforward as that. There's another question here, Prime Minister. Uh... What provisions are in place for persons who are traumatized? I suppose it's speaking about the psychosocial support and who wish to, in particular, remove from the red zone and and probably relocate on a more permanent basis within the yellow or, or green zones and the potential for a reduction in the cost of lands in, in, in those, in those uh, zones. Um, we don't we don't have a lot of state lands. One of the problems we have we don't have a lot of state lands um, in 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 the red zone and the yellow zone. Sorry, in the green zone and the 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 yellow zone, and <clears throat> and also there's there's not a lot of state land suitable for housing even there in the orange zone and and the the red zone the, the amount of land has been reduced significantly over the years because of of the, the 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 amount of distribution we have done for instance we ourselves in this government over the last 20 years we can't ask a private person to sell their land cheaper to you so what what we, what has to happen is that consideration clearly has to be given with great urgency. If you don't have enough land so that you can spread out on the ground, you have to go up in the air. So that um, buildings would have to be now like apartment houses and the like, like what happens in in in. In, in countries, it happens in Barbados, it happens in Trinidad, it happens in Jamaica. Certainly, 
in New York and Toronto and Washington and London and and the, and the other cities in the world. You, you know, the you, you you just don't have enough land space. So that has to be. For instance, if you if you if you have to if you have to build a, if you have to build a housing settlement with 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 um sixty houses, fifty houses, it's, it's plenty of land you need. But if you're going to build a block of apartments with fifty uh, fifty apartments. One, two, three bedrooms. You can go up three stories. You see what I mean? Yes, yes, I do. Um, and more, of course, in 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 the United States and so on. You go up um, many, many stories. But, but so we all, all of all of that, we have to to change how we are doing things. But my impression is that. The the overwhelming majority of people who who grew up and who have invested in the in building in the red zone they they're gonna they're gonna um, go back there of course there are also going to be sizable numbers who don't want to stay just like what happened in 1902 and happened after 1979. So since we built the Rabaka Bridge, a number of persons have gone back up, or at least families now, and, and, and they've built beautiful houses from Rabaka right back to, um, to to Fancy. You see the quality of houses; it's 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 great. Mm. Of course, they're having between people who have built in places which are very. Places which are uh, are not uh, they, they they shouldn't build there. Like practically speaking, in a riverbed now, you have seen some of that, Dion. Yes. Or perched on the on a near to a riverbed or something like that. I mean, clearly those houses, those which have not been destroyed, have to go. Yeah. It would be foolhardy for anybody to go and live there. In, in the light of all that has happened recently. Yeah, I'm, I'm just giving a plug here, Prime Minister, to Dr. Joselle Miller, Andrea Games, Mohez, and the team. Uh, I think Kimberly Cambridge, um, Alicia Alves, they have been providing tremendous work during the night for psychosocial support. And they will be on again with us tonight on the night edition of this program again tonight, so I just wanted to give a plug to you. Absolutely. And I was to, yesterday I was to try and get a, to have a conversation with Joselle, but um, God, if she's listening. Yes, uh, she is. I'm under so much, um, you know, pressure of work in terms of the time now. It's, it's really, really, uh, and today's another of those days. <clears throat> so that we... But this the online the online um psychosocial work support which is being given is, 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 is very important. In addition, of course, in the shelters you have um teachers and so forth who are counselors, people who are working in the educational system. And I I there is a <clears throat> there is I have been advised a, a plan, a, a framework in which this work is being rolled out. And I'm happy to see that the online dimension of it is, is working. Yes. Continuing on the issue of the land, <laughs> somebody is asking if I acquire the land within those zones that are uh, the green and the yellow, uh, if there would be provi uh, provisions for assistance in terms of the acquisition of building materials. Well, in the budget which is coming up, we are going to have some monies in the supplementary, 
some money is for building materials. But I want I want persons always to know that the the extent of the resources, the pot of money which which government has is not inexhaustible. And we will we will we will assist and you can rely on us to assist to the fullest extent of 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 um the means of the government. This this is so I can tell you that we, we, we have in some money in the estimate in the supplementary estimates um for 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 building materials. <clears throat> but I don't want persons who are already hearing that that they in the though they're in they're, though they're in need in, in say the orange zone uh, sorry in the yellow zone and the and the green zone that they begin to say, Well listen to me we are in need. Um help us the same way that you help somebody who has lost their home in the volcano. It's it's problematic. Everybody has to be reasonable in, 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 in going forward. And I'm sure that choices, difficult choices will have to be made at an individual level and at a, a national governmental level as to how the resources are allocated. Because I, I want to reiterate in this humanitarian period, when people hear that X dollars have been given, $200,000 US or 200,000 pounds and so on, the, the money, the money of her, of her, for the relief in this humanitarian period, that money ha- has not come <clears throat> to the government, you know, they, 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 they've gone to different agencies. This is how relief takes place. The international NGOs like the Red Cross, um, agencies like which, which, in which who do their own work, like the United Nations agencies, and and um, like Sidema. But of course, we belong to Sidema, and. They get resources, for instance. They, they will send, CDM would help to send personnel here. Those personnel, they have to be paid. You, you see what I mean? Yeah. You bring equipment, that equipment has to be bought. But that's, that's so they're helping. The PAHO itself, they reported to me that already they have spent about $250,000. Um, U.S. dollars in respect of providing assistance in one form or another, uh, technical assistance, um, some some material resources, not the actual money. But they all help to make the relief effort a, a one which is solid and, and, and organized, better organized and more comprehensive and the like. So I appreciate all that. But the point I'm making is that in for the for the supplementary estimates, the, the bulk of the money coming from money which we had put aside, thankfully, and people now see the sense in that, in the for the the contingency fund. Remember when we put the one percent this point onto the the VAT as a disaster levy? Remember the, the licks I got for that from some quarters, and I said that, that will turn out to be. Not a measure to soak the poor, but to help the poor. You see it happening now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, of course, uh, people people must realize that when you, you have to take tough tough decisions with good policies and even 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 and and to think ahead. So that's one. Secondly, the thoughtfulness which we had not to program the forty million dollars soft loan which we had negotiated with the World Bank that we spent 20 million, but we kept 20 million U.S. in reserve. So we had we have to 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 do that, and we have about the 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 rapid credit facility again from the IMF is about 
16 million EC dollars. And we have a, 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 a loan from the Caribbean Development Bank of about of five million dollars plus a grant between themselves and the Inter American Development Bank Bank of five hundred thousand um dollars. These are US denominations, um, which I just talked about the C D B. But the C D B loan of five million humanitarian, we have to pay back. We have to pay that back. You see what I mean? Yes, Prime Minister. Um the and that's why I'm I'm um the, the, that's why I'm doing so many things. Um, still being in touch with people and seeking if we can get um, monies for recovery and 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 so forth because that's that's hundreds of millions of dollars, and it's not going to be a one-year recovery. It's 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 going to be a much longer haul. So I just. So that I know that many people, we have gone through so many hardships, and um, I've been able to to lead the country in a way, and we ride out the storms and we go forward, and ride out the challenges that people have gotten the impression that Ralph is a, some people that Ralph is a magician, even those who oppose, they say, no, 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 man, Ralph could get that, man, Ralph could get that. Well, I'm not a magician. I, 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 we had to work hard in a very difficult environment externally to to get assistance with resources. Like, like for instance, you have to think things out and do things specifically. Like Rabaka Bridge needs restorative work, and I, I, the, the Taiwanese had had helped us to build that. I will go to them specifically with the Rabaka Bridge, and it will help us restore that. You see what I mean? Right. And particular things, your target, and if, if people not go, some will, will, will lend you money, um, some may give you some grant. Um, and that's, that's, and then in addition to all of those things, we're not collecting as much revenue as, 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 as before. I mean, the, the, the first quarter in this year, our revenues were down by about um, four million plus dollars. Um, not bad, in the, but that's up to the end of March. But April, I haven't seen the outturn yet because it has. It has April has just finished. We're just in the first couple of days. I would see it before the end of this week. The people in Ministry of Finance would give me the, 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 the numbers for April. But but um April last year was 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 not good. And I think April this year is going to be worse. I'm 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 pretty sure. Um last year with COVID now. Yeah. That was the first of the months, full months under COVID. When uh, so that and and I, I have to pay I have to have thirty million dollars um a a month to pay salaries and and the like even before the volcano. Remember I raised the question that if we have to try and get back to normal as quick as possible because it's not easy to 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 raise all the monies to get the monies to to pay all your monthly expenses, including salaries. Remember, I raised that. Yes, Prime Minister. This is a, a a practical matter. Of course, the the last year we didn't do as badly as as many countries which are wrong us. And part of the reason is that the structure of our economy, but very importantly, we didn't lock down. Um. Some countries, I mean, the outside world locked down on us to some extent, but we found spaces in which we can do things. And that was the idea in a practical way. But we got to get the country back as quickly as possible to normal. This is why I want us to get back to the orange zone and then the, to do the cleanup. And, and once we get the OK to go back into the red zone and do, to be doing things and get agricultural production back up, fisheries, let us get 
um, some of the some of the construction projects uh, 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 have been uh, put on not put on hold but delayed because of of what has happened to the volcano. I mean, for obvious reasons. Um, so to private construction and and so that we we need we need to get back and that's why we need also not to put a further conflict a, a further wound on us by not taking the vaccine taking the test and not, and then and and it, the covid test and take the vaccine it's a it's a it's not easy and 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 i'm going to ask people i mean there there are persons who are the number of people who text me and the, the texts usually begin like this. I know it's a difficult time and your hands full. But I have an issue I want you to help me with. And it's usually an issue which is personal to them, important to them. But in the overall scheme of things, it's not that it peels into significance, but it's a priority down the line. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yes, Prime Minister. But mm -hmm. but 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 all it takes to to get the, the, the that additional pressure piled on to you is is um is for the sufferer to to just go into a period of quiet for a, a two-week period, and some people begin to get in their heads, well, well, okay, it's all right. Mm -hmm. But we are in this thing for a very long haul, and I mean, and I appreciate all the, the you drawing to my attention, all the, the, the challenges and so forth. I mean, I I understand that you have to do that, but it doesn't mean that you yourself have to make judgments as to When you're making your your demands or your 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 requests, to put them in a context as to all what is happening, you, you you appreciate the broad point I'm making. Yes, Prime Minister, I do. Um, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not looking for any. I'm not looking for any respite, <laughs> but. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not looking for any ease up because the pressure is there. All I'm saying, everybody has to be reasonable, and we all have to work together to building back our country together. And I know people have a, a diverse set of personal problems. You have to prioritize. The government has to prioritize. The country has to prioritize. You know, and so on and so forth. And we have to prioritize some things to build our resilience <laughs> for the future. Because as we have seen, many of the things which help us in this thing, in this time, are things which we did wisely to build our resilience, both in terms of public policy, but also in terms of certain kinds of infrastructure, the Ravika Bridge, the, the, the jetties, the, the roads. You know the 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 Nemo itself, number of, of cadets who came on and 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 counselors and we have hired and the 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 the, the hospitality center which you build out a diamond which which world world central kitchen is using which is feeding so many people and so on and so on. All those things are. <laughs> contingency fund we have to do things to strengthen our really resilience and make us less fragile oh uh, there's a in in all of the questions that are being submitted prime minister in between i get comments to commend you on the job the outstanding job that you're doing uh, appreciative of your guidance and your support at this time for the country i just thought that i should note that in between as well well it's 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 it's, it's good to hear and and, and thanks 
Um, are there plans by the government, and, and this one is specific by the government, to uh, store the ash for future use as fertilizers? Well, there is, there is, um, UNEP is advising on, on um, United Nations people, the experts advising on possible, possible uses. You know, and, um, and and that is that is a matter which is in in the works in the making, and and we will see where that advice leads us. But and but we are treating everything in a proper and scientific way. I don't want to say anything prematurely on it. All right. Uh, some additional questions. Let's just pull them up here. Uh, oh. Okay. I think someone is asking if uh, the the food that is. Uh, prepared at the shelter or that is taken to the shelter, if the nutritional uh, value and uh, is, if those things are being considered in terms of the preparation of the food? Yes, yes. The answer is yes. Right. The nutritionists are involved. They, they, they do the Ministry of Health also. Quality checks are done. Um, obviously, you do. You can't check every meal at every shelter, but they're 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 doing quality checks. And when issues are raised, either by people who eat, who eat the food or people at the shelters, and the management, or, or when when people go by to inspect and so forth, they they those questions are are checked out. There is a qu question here. I I I have to, you know try and figure my way around this one. I think you mentioned, Prime Minister, that some of the shelters, or, it would, or it probably it was Dr. Keyser, some of the shelters, uh, that they're, they're, they have um, specific plans in place because there's been an outbreak of COVID in those shelters. So, so they, they make sure that no one can go in and out of those shelters. Yes. Um, I, I am seeing a, a question here, or, or it's a comment. I'm not too sure if you may have heard about it. Yeah that there are some persons who are trying to um, avoid the lockdown by scaling the fence at, at yes. this particular... Yes, um, that's area. true. Um, that, that, that happens certainly at one shelter. And that's why I say that they, by and large, that the persons are inside the shelters are understanding and they, they, even, they may be, even though they may grumble at the lockdown... <laughs> Most people realize it's for their own good in the circumstances where there's an outbreak of COVID or at least a spike, an uptick. But you remember I also said that there are, there are a few persons who want to create a, a law and order security issue. Right. That's what I was referring to. I, I, I didn't use this. I, I spoke about it because there are other... That's, that's one manifestation of people who want to create... A lot of a law and order issues, so we have to send police. <laughs> you know, well, why? Why would you? Why someone want to break down the gate? You know, you you want to scale the fence. You don't want to take. You you don't. You don't have COVID. You don't want to take the test. You don't want to take the vaccine. You don't want to follow simple protocol by remaining in the space in which you and your family are. Because if anybody is inside of there who has COVID and, and they do the checks with the others who are there, they will take you to, um, they will, they will either move you and put you somewhere else or have you isolated at the particular center. You know, they'll have the facilities. Um, to do, do, you know, they the, 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 the try to handle those things. But you don't want to, you don't want to be involved in any of that. But you want to um, create a security issue. <laughs> the as the we we've seen the rains uh, last week and uh, we are already hearing the experts say that it's likely that we would have uh, a very active uh, hurricane season. Yes. As we think about rebuilding and uh, and looking ahead, 
um, the importance of, of having uh, communities and, and people assist uh, the government in terms of getting drains and, and, and gutters in front of their homes clean at this time. I think this is a this is a, 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 a priority and, and something that we as citizens of this country... It's very, very critical. Day. It's a very critical thing, and to have local leadership and citizen activism. We have to be careful, and this is always a challenge, after disasters, during disasters, and after the natural disasters, is for persons to have a sense that somebody else must do it for you. No, this is a time, as I've said before, you have to take up your bed and walk. <laughs> and that's a metaphoric expression, not that you must take up your mattress and, 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 and go home in a disorderly manner. I, that is to say without an orderly process. We, we have to do it in an orderly process. When, you, when you're returning, for instance, to your orange zone, you have to check out. Uh, you, you, with the, you just don't pick up and go off. Uh, you know, you do it in a, you say, well, listen, I'm going back. This is one thing. I'm, the Prime Minister said I could take my mattress. I'm making arrangements to take my mattress now with me. You, you, you understand what I mean? We do everything in a proper and orderly manner. You know, the, the, the thing is this, we, we all are Christian people. And we always, we are, well, not, well, most of us are. Uh, uh, we have been brought up that way. But from Genesis right down to Revelation, something which permeates everything in the Bible is to do things in an orderly manner. If even you're having a protest on something, you have to have it in an orderly manner. In other words, you don't take away your right of, to do to, 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 but you, you have to do it in an orderly manner. And particularly normal affairs, you conduct them in an ordinary manner, you can't do them helter-skelter. Mm -hmm. You know, we, 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 we are a civilized people, and we, we have a lot of antecedents of our worth and merit, and currently our worth and merit. And we have a trajectory for the further ennoblement of this magnificent Vincentian component of our Caribbean civilization. And... and, and um, we do, we do these things on a we we do what is is good and uplifting. All right. Yeah, just just a final one because I know you have to. <laughs> yes, to I have go. to go. I have to go. Right. I I think you may have answered this, but because it was raised, I just wanted yeah. you to provide the clarity. Uh, would would there be food support for evacuees returning to the red and orange zones? I know you have answered this, but I just yes, there 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 would be there would be continued supports. But what 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 we want to do is to provide, for instance, for farmers um, and for non-farmers in the red and orange zones. Um, income support and for the non farmers too. And you'll hear the numbers involved. And um we want to provide to assist with production support to help you get you back on your feet. Now if you're getting income support most people would use overwhelmingly the persons when they get the income support will get the income support to for them to buy to to buy their own food and 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 cook and you know what I mean to to do things and you you have to other supports may be required but again I come back to the to the thing that there's a there is a a limit to the extent of the resources possessed by the government. Because what we are talking about here, in, our, in, in, in the supplementary, we are talking about for the next six months, expenditure in the region of about 100 
million dollars additional to what is in the existing budget. You, you, you see where I'm going? Yes, Prime Minister. And this is additional to, to your your monthly things. You have we have to pay the salaries, we have to pay the pensions, we have to pay public assistance, we have to do all the various things and 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 um we have to pay the debt which 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 we which we owe and I I, I um you know I don't know how much debt relief we are going to get in the sense of a moratorium. The the C D B had given the moratorium in payments in respect of in 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 respect of of monies for the period for for the twelve months for COVID now. You know we have to see if we can get a further extension of things like that because of what happened with this and, and other places that we owe. You know, um, of course, just thankfully we don't have a lot of um, private sector debt, but you have to pay the private sector. Yeah, that that's not a question we're going. People buy your bonds. You have to pay your bonds. You see what I mean? Yes, please. You have to pay your interest on your bonds because you want to go to the market all the time. There is the the the, the question of the the treasury bills. It's a rule, you know. We 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 maintain instability, and and I want to give. I want I want the pub. I want the investment. The investors out there to know that we have a difficult and challenging period. But be assured that we are not going to leave you who lent us money in the lurch. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about people, a number of small people who would buy treasury bills and the like, and, and institutions which are holding people's money in trust and the like. Mm -hmm. Um banks, insurance companies, etc. I, I, I want to give them that assurance. That 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 and they will they they, they, will, they would have seen that in the midst of COVID and they will see that they've seen that also. But they would appreciate that I had to alert public servants for instance, particularly some who seem as though they were quite enjoying staying at home and don't want to go back to work quite enjoying the idea of just being home and not working and getting the money. Eh? Hmm. <laughs> and when you talk about when you talk about going back, you get all kind of no 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 you can't go back because of this, because of that. And and I was I was signaling to them please live in the real world. Live in the real world with me. Don't live don't live somewhere else. You know? It's very good. All right. All right. Thank you. Have thanks. a good day and thanks so much. Good. Fine. All right then. Bye bye. Bye.